Okay. I'm fucking running with it because this GoPro connecting to the phone thing. I don't know what's going on. It's getting real fucking glitchy and it doesn't want to fucking work with me. It's driving me goddamn nuts. So, I want to take a minute. I'm jumping up because I've done this video like three or four times now and I'm getting ahead of myself. But I want to take a minute to acknowledge my boy Nick. He made me this bootlegged tactical neural implant shirt. I've got the official one in my closet from the tour, but I don't want to wear it down because I'm stupid like that. But now I can go out and wear this one around. He also made me the skinny puppy shirt with the, the fish eye creature thing. Um, I don't want to dwell. I, I want to make sure you know I'm thanking you, Nick. But I don't want to dwell too much because I know it'll be awkward for you. But thank you very much. He also made me a hardwired clock. Um, and it has a face on it. I know he very much took pleasure in telling me that. So, clever. Thank you. Um, what are we on to next? The music. Um, got some CDs. Got Ministry's Filth Pig. We got... Frontline Assemblies, Hardwired. If you have not heard Hardwired, holy fuck, this album's amazing. You need to fucking go listen to Hardwired. Um, I found a new band. Uh, I wanted to listen to them for a while because they had a cool name, but I listened to some of their other music and I was like, what? What is that? I can't listen to that. It's just fucking noise and clanging. I mean, I, I, if there is some musical value there, I appreciate it, I guess, but it's beyond me. That's on some next level. But then, I heard that uh, back in like 80s or 90s, I don't know when these came out, 90s, um, record labels forced this band to make some mainstream sounding shit. It's not mainstream like your Katy Perry shit. But it's mainstream, like, like, KMFDM, Ministry, all that shit at the time. And holy fuck, Controlled Bleedings, Penetration, and Trudge, they're pretty fucking cool. I, I mean, some of their other releases are pretty, like, noise and just whatever, but those two are really fucking cool. I like them. The, the band, uh, Phil Lamos, I believe, is the, the singer's name. And, and the creator of Controlled Bleeding, and uh, he hates these because the label pushed him to make them in the way that they did, but it was fucking awesome. I, I wish there was more like that, so that's awesome. Uh, that's the CDs. I haven't shown CDs here before, but, you know, it came in the mail with the vinyl, so I might as well show you. Um, I also got... Frontline Assemblies Implode with art by Dave McKean again. I don't need to pull the vinyl out, it's just black. It's got the uh, lyrics and some art in there. Now, my one complaint about the vinyl for this one on the CD right here where you see this distortion, that's where the word implode is, and it's all shrunken like the word implode is imploding. And uh, I've always loved that uh, that extra little thought put into the art on the album there. That's a Frontline Assembly. Um, we're going to go on to this one. So... The what's in the box, I teased you all this shit before, we're going into it now. We'll go, we'll go fairly quick. We got Uringer. Just the track list and whatever. But inside here, before Face App or whatever the fuck the aging shit was, this came out before that. Jimmy's ahead of the curve, he's got a fucking half old self there. There you go. So, this came out in a couple editions. There's like the black, I think it first came out on purple, and then it came out on red, and then it came out on frosted with 
blue splatter. So I couldn't pass that bitch up. You know me. I found out when I uh, went to listen to the the vinyl and checked out some of the credits and stuff. I don't know how I never figured that shit out before. Jimmy Urine married the singer from Morningwood and has kids with her. They just had twins. Chantel Claret, or Claret, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, but that was pretty cool when I found that out. I don't really listen to Morningwood, but I remember their song Nth Degree from, like, commercials when I was a kid. So then we got uh, the remix version of Uringer, Urin, or, or, well, I'm going to call it Urin because that's what it says there, but it's actually called Uringer Remix. Um, so I bought this immediately because I saw it had a Reese Fulber remix. I was unfortunately let down by the Reese Fulber remix. It's just kind of, it just doesn't really go anywhere for me. The one on here, though, the Surge Tankian KMFDM remix, holy fuck, this song is amazing. And these uh, orchestrated versions are pretty cool. I'm not going to pull the vinyl out for this one because... Uh, Jimmy, I don't know what the fuck you did, but, uh, it's clear. I don't think, let's see if it's, no, yeah, it's still in there. It burst the fucking seams when it got here. Oh, yeah, and thanks, Metropolis, because you, you dented the corners on my vinyl before I even got it. Um, but, uh, the clear one, I you can't get it out of this fucking sleeve without two people. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. So. Whatever. It only cost me, like, 20 bucks, so I don't, I don't really regret it. Um, no. Yeah. My camera is actually, it looks like it's still been going. So I've just been going with it. But my phone froze on me, so... I'm not dealing with it. Um, I'm going to hit stop, and I'm going to check the footage. And if it's fucked, I'm going to be really mad. And I might break something, and then I'll come back in like five minutes and make another one. But if we're all good, I'm just going to go on to the last video. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that, because holy fuck did I get something. I got something. Stay tuned.